Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, today's look basically is the uh, I forgot what number it was. I'll put it aside. But basically, what this is is the very intense black smoky eye. It's got a bit of purple also. What I used was from Makeup Forever. I have this palette which is my pride and joy. It's got like all the crazy bold colors from Makeup Forever. Just excuse the mess. I kind of dropped it. <laughs> okay, so it's got all this like neon orange and pink, red, uh, blue, purple. Um, in my opinion, if you need a purple, a good purple, get it for Makeup Forever because all the other brands I think that I've tried, the purples are just average quality. Okay, so it's a really simple look. It looks complicated but it's really very simple. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. So um, today's um, prepping of the eye is a little bit different. What you're going to start off with is your normal eye base, whether it's Urban Decay Primer or Paint Pots. Just grab your usual brush and apply it all over your lid. So next what we're going to do is apply a darker base on the lid. This is going to help the purple to stand out a lot more. So we're using black track. Um, other than using a black gel liner or a black cream eyeshadow, you can even just use um, a regular pencil. Just use it to fill in your eye up to up to the crease. Try not to go higher than the crease. Okay, so and then just like kind of evenly, you want to blend it out and not get it too messy. Just soften it up a little bit. Okay, now for when you want to do smoky eyes, I would strongly suggest applying your highlight color first so that when you apply the darker shade later on, it blends a lot more easier. Okay, uh, just apply your normal highlight. And when you apply it, try to bring down the color up to the crease so that it's a lot more easier to blend the color later on. Okay, just like that. Okay, for the lid color, we can use a, a bright purple. What I'm using is by Makeup Forever. Now, for Makeup Forever, I think they have the best purple around compared to even MAC or any other brand. What you're going to do is, I'm using the purple. Okay. Up. Dab off any excess. And you don't want to pull. You want to dab the color on. So, it's something like this. You can already see how intense the color is on the black base just lifting it up a little bit into the crease for the colors in the crease um, you can either just use a matte black or you can use a very deep maroon first to blend in the purple with the black so just get an, um, an angled brush okay for your crease and I'm using Beauty Mark by MAC anything's fine as long as it's like a deep maroon shade Something that's really dark, close to black. So I'm just dabbing the color into my crease. You want to apply black neck, something that's matte preferably. Um, I'm going to use the 222 brush, something that's long and tapered is fine. Okay, now this color is it's a bit more darker than the previous shade. So we want to apply it just at the outer corners here. So just kind of do a, like a C. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to touch up on the purple again because I love having the purple to be really bright and outstanding especially since you already have a very dark colour in the crease. So just go back and pat the colour on again. Okay, now I'm going to line my eyes and do my mascara.
Now what needs to be done is the lower lash line. You want something thick and intense. So using a pencil liner, just line your lower lash line. Okay, and then using a very flat brush, you want to pack black onto the liner. So the liner kind of works as a base for you. So I'm going for MAC Carbon again. Just dab on the colour. Okay, once that's done, you want to fill in the waterline also. Stick to um, eye, an, an eye pencil. Okay, and then just do your brows. Um, I've had people ask me what I normally use for my brows because um, my brows already are pretty thick as it is, so I... I actually like the thickness of it okay um, what I do is just fill in a little bit more I use this by Red Earth it's called um, absolute brows it's in mahogany what it has is it comes in three shades two different powder eyeshadow colors um, I sorry eyebrow powder colors and one is just a little bit in a wax form for setting and it comes with this really tiny applicators like a spool um, tweezer and a little brush so I normally just mix both the colours and then I go into the wax and then just fill in the eyebrows. Um, for the cheeks I'm going to go a little bit with a lighter shade. Okay. Um, but first I want to just do a bit of sculpting with the cheekbones like over here. So I'm going to use a dark shade, something that's a little bit dark. Okay, and then again the Coastal Sands palette. This is a light shade. Um, okay, for the lips, you can actually go for something neutral because when you have smoky eyes, you want to probably pair it with toned down lips. Um, I'm going to go a bit um, nude with the lips for this. You can either use concealer foundation um, and just lighten the tone of your lips. Okay, then just line your lips very lightly. Um, at this stage, you can either just use lip gloss, maybe a transparent lip gloss, or you can just use a light pale colour. I'm going to use um, a pale lip colour by MAC. This is Freckle Tone. Okay. Um, lastly, if you want to add a little bit of um, pop to your highlight, maybe make it a little bit more um, brighter, you can just use a bit of shimmers or glitters. Okay, just a small amount. I don't know whether you can see this, it's not very obvious. Okay, just a small amount, just dab it. Just like that. Alright, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.